going south to train horses in the wintertime is not something that's just developed in harness racing in the last few years with the facilities of Ben White and uh, Pompano Park and other training centers in Florida. It's been going on for a number of years, back into the early 30s. Delvin, uh, what's the popularity of training in the wintertime in Florida? Well, I'll tell you, it's great for the trainers and the caretakers and great for the owners. But uh, going south, they first started going to Thomasville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Then they went on south to uh, Orlando, and Longwood is a part of Orlando. Now, training, you said, in the south is, is great for the owner and the driver and the caretakers. Is it great for the horses? Oh, yes, it's good for the horses because they don't go over uh, rough, uh, frozen ground, and you get a lot more time to, to take so much more time with them. You hurry, you mm -hmm. attempt to hurry in the frozen ground. Let's go back to 1937 and for some rare footage of training at Longwood, Florida. Many great stables trained at Longwood. Who were some of them? Oh, Seth Palin, Ben White, Tommy Berry, Fred Egan, By Shiley. They were all there and all the great owners. They had homes and lived there and still live there. Bill Strang, did he win three Hamiltonians? He won three Hamiltonians, he was a wonderful man, but his great thing was to take you to the, when Roosevelt first started, we'd all go to the Brooklyn Dodgers and see the ball games. W.N. Reynolds. W.N. Reynolds, man I worked for privately, had Tar Heel and all those great horses for, had his stable. In fact, he owned Longwood, and you'll see him driving there. There's Jerry Mulvey right there. She was McKeever. McKeever's owned the Brooklyn Dodgers. Her daughter, Ann, married Ralph Banka. Training at Longwood, Florida. Going south in the winter. <laughs> 